for you to join me. I'm really excited for this series of videos that I'm going to be uploading for you and it's going to be the tutorial to my Sea World chest of memories. So if you've um, check out my channel I have a playlist called walk, uh, memory book walkthroughs and you will see the walkthrough for this particular project in there but I will up, I will put the link just in that little corner there uh, and you will then be able to head on over there if you've not seen the finished project uh, for this so let's crack on because this is going to be a mahoosive series of videos there's quite a lot of work to get done so I'm just going to get bring in the one that we're going to do so the one that I made for my walkthrough is a little bit smaller as that was my prototype so this will be the album that or the project that you will be making it's exactly the same but it's just going to be bigger so what I've done with this one is I've, I've increased the size to incorporate two 6x6 six six full albums in here. So that's why it's a little bit bigger. I've also added this bottom panel here which is going to then be able to house um, any of those metal feet that you may have that have got the decorative feature that goes up the side of your box it will be able to incorporate those but this here has got an added bonus because I didn't want to make um, a plinth that was um, empty with nothing on you could do that that's that's um, entirely up to you but I thought well, what a waste of space so what I did was I left the back panel open okay and the reason for that then is, is you can put um, maybe a small little folio album in here that um, is secret or you could just put house um, have a folder in there and um, it can have maybe all your uh, some photographs in that are ready to go into your memory books so it's just a, an added feature that I thought would be a great w thing to have the only thing is is it will be a bit smaller than your 6x6 six six because this needs then to fit across there so you're cutting down that uh, space I couldn't make it any bigger uh, because it, I tried and it, it looked a bit odd so that's the only thing so it's only about half an inch so this gap um, although it's a seven inch gap that will take that down to I would say about five and a quarter and three quarters um, but that's um, the nature of the beast as they say the tools that you will need are definitely some grey board now the grey board that I use is a 2mm which is 2000 microns so all my um, workings out and my measurements are based on the 2mm grey board so that's one thing the next thing you're going to need is your cardstock now the cardstock um, I use is a 220 GSM weight um, so it, it's 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 quite thick and it's ideal for memory books uh, so pick whichever color you're going to use I'm going to use black unfortunately this album is more of a black theme so um, I that's why I'm using the black wherever I can I will try and demo with it in white so that you can see what I'm doing because black is one of the hardest um, colors to film um, when you're trying to make memory books so I will try and, and stop and show up to the camera and do all of the um, all of that as we go 
you'll also need some trusty wet glue now i use cosmic shimmer and pin, uh, pin flare book binding glue they are both equally good okay um i've always used cosmic shimmer it's my favorite glue of choice uh, but i've since found the pin flare one and i like it as well also you'll need some construction book construction tape now this tape comes from uh, my creative spirit and it's the only place you can get this particular brand of construction tape um, she doesn't outsource it to anybody so you if you want this tape it only has to come it'll come from her um, because this is acid free it's high tack and it is just br brilliant for your construction of memory books and projects and things like that it makes things so much quicker now if you haven't got the tape you um, can use um, I sometimes use craft car uh, craft um, packing tape um, if I'm using especially if I'm using craft card I'll use um, this type of um, it's a like a masking tape like a packing tape but it's a, a paper packing tape so it's easy to rip okay but it's still quite durable so I use that as well I have got white um, construction tape but um it doesn't lend itself to what i'm doing now put my tablets out of the way um it's a little bit th the 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 brand that i've got is a little bit thicker so it wouldn't work with my memory book but um yeah there's lots out there but this is the one i like to use the most you'll also need um a poker tool a pencil some definitely some scissors and some double-sided um, sticky tape now I use the um, score pal uh, double-sided tape it's finger lift so it's easy to tear but this is high tack it is in my opinion the best tape double-sided tape out there for um, craft for crafting um, it's brilliant it really is you can also use um, your red liner tape that is just as good that works um, just as well but again you have to then keep cutting that which um, for speed this is my tape of choice anything else I think oh yes definitely definitely need um, some a bone folder and I've got a Teflon coated um, I'm going to call it a tool um, a teflon tool i like to use this especially if i'm um, working with black cardstock because it's teflon coated for some reason it doesn't mark your black card the only thing i can describe it is if you use a bone folder on black card you tend to get a sheen it tends to make it shiny and the how i can describe it is is if you've got a pair of black trousers and you iron them with a very hot iron or over and over again you tend to get your fabric gets that shine on the top and personally i don't like it so um the only way to get around that is if you haven't got a, a teflon bone folder would be to use a piece of paper or card over the the item that you're going to score and then score on that and then score on that then the, the actual that um, is going to um, take that shiny um, ness away but it won't won't tr transfer onto your uh, scored lines I think that is it oh definitely you'll need a trimmer uh, the trimmer um, I've got a couple of trimmers so this is what I'm going to use for this uh, particular project um, only because I have got some, myself some new blades for it and um, I didn't want to put my new blades on to cut my grey board so that's another thing when you're cutting grey board always use your oldest blade and then keep that blade just for grey board because grey board will blunt your blades on your trimmers without a doubt so you need to keep one just 
for that now I tend to mark mine with just a little mark just to, uh, so that I know that that's my grey board um, blade you'll also need a scoring board this I would say is essential um, because it's it's quick and it takes all that that marking of edges and uh, measurements out of it um, especially when you're coming to scoring as well so I would say definitely um, you need a scoreboard um, I've got the UK success one um, I've also got the score power one and they're brilliant as long as they go down in uh, one eighth of an inch um, increments you'll be fine because that's what I use okay let's then um, get started on our project okay are we ready now remember this is going to be fun so don't stress if we make a mistake don't stress about it it can be fixed any mistake in my world is a happy one so let's start first of all we go how I'm going to do it is we're going to be working uh, in sections so we're going to do the plinth first then we'll do the housing for our drawer and then we'll do the top of our chest on we'll do that last so that way working that way is I feel we haven't got loads of things cut out and then we have to label everything and um, we just get in a mess so I kind of tend to work with um, doing a, as I say a section at a time and it also breaks it down doesn't make it too daunting neither so let's the, the measurements for our plinth two seven by one inch out of this is out of grey board one at seven eighths sorry seven and one eighth by one each you'll need one of those that you'll also need one seven by seven so I'm going to start with the seven by seven that way I've got a little bit of left of my grey board that I can then maybe get one of the other pieces cut out of so when you're cutting grey board on um, your paper trimmer it can be a little bit difficult and you just have to keep going at it so let me I'm so I always work on the slant I think it's just the way I am I kind of I'm a bit jaunty myself so having so mark it at seven now if you are uh, when you're measuring on your trimmers I would use, if you've got more than one, like I've got a guillotine as well as another paper tripper, trimmer, always use one trimmer per project, okay, because they all cut differently. Uh, also, when you are measuring, sometimes people can measure under the line, so there's my seven, some people can measure under, some people go across the line whichever is your preference do that on every single piece okay so I just measure just on the line um, rather than just over the line so that's how I'm going to do mine so let's measure it up okay then I tend to go backwards and forwards with my blade like so it won't cut it through because my blade isn't deep enough but then what I tend to do is I just fold it over and then you can see it's holding on by that um, slither of paper that's on the back now you can either cut it with your scissors so cut that bit off like so or you can then put it um, on your trimmer again and cut it that way so I'll show you both and then you can decide which one is easier for you so I'm just cutting the excess bit off now if you've got excess fibers that come off um, that are sort of stuck you can use a, a nail file which um, I did have one here and just um, file off those extra strands okay to make your grey board 
smooth along that edge because what we're looking for is no uh, we're not make, we're not looking for any lumps and bumps okay because when we put our tape over you don't want you want to try and see a nice straight edge so we've cut one um, seven now we need to do the other so that we end up with our square okay so what I've done there I'm just going to bend it over okay and then you create that um, natural fold then on the back now that fold needs to go into your trimmer and however your trimmer is try and centre that score line on that fold line sorry yeah try and centre your trimmer on that this, this, the line that you've kind of scored I think that is about right okay and then cut off okay and then you end up with um, it just scoring those both of those pieces now I didn't do that one my blade is getting quite blunt now I think it might be time to change to another blade but we'll persevere for a little while so once you've done that just write on here seven by seven okay so that's one For your structure strips, your measurements for this are, so you'll need three seven by one inch, you'll need one at seven and one eighth by one inch, you'll need four of one by one inch, and then you'll need two seven, sorry, uh, two at six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. So these are our structure strips. So put your um, your cardstock that uh, is not used with your grey board to one side because we can salvage some of those pieces um, later to make different cuts. So that's our trimmer away for a moment. And then grab in your scoreboard. Bring in your school tools and your bone folder and your strips. Now we're going to um, score this at half an inch. So half an inch, you put the short edge to the top and then you score down the long um, measurement okay fold them over 
like so and do that with all of them don't score too hard through your um, card because you could end up going through it and we don't want that to happen so that's three I think I've done one too many Wanted. no I haven't I haven't ignore me I think my head is uh, outside with all the wind today it's what we used to say um, as I used to work in school and uh, whenever it was windy and uh, the children went out to play we would they would all come back in up even more hyperactive than, than when they went out and we always put it down to the wind we'd all say oh it's windy today so and the children are going to be very naughty and without fail it seemed to, it did work so go figure don't know okay so that then is our structure strips done while we've got them out uh, we might as well put our double sided tape on them so what I'd like you to do is just make sure okay you've got the one that you've cut at seven and one eighth now you can tell that when you just obviously measure them up against each other one of them will be longer okay so make sure you've got that one um, to the side You'll need then to add two of the seven and one eighth, sorry, seven inch and one uh, with that, okay? This one put to the side and you'll need two of the smaller ones as well to add to that pile, okay, like so. And then two to that pile. Now, the reason I've done that is this. We start with this one first. These are going to go on the outside of our grey board, okay, it's to help hide the grey. But for these, um, instead of putting, we're going to put a double sided tape on the inside. So if you can see, yes that's no better. Right, if you can see uh, where I've scored it, I'll bring it up. There we go, that's better. So, as I've scored it, like so, this side here, this side, is your valley fold, okay, because it goes down. This side here is the mountain, because it goes up ways, okay. I'll do it like that, so, like so. So, this is your mountain, because it, it raises up, and then this side here there is your valley because it goes uh, it dips down okay so we're going to put our double sided tape on the valley side of our structure strip now the score tape I forgot to mention uh, the size is a quarter inch it's a uh, one and one quarter inch tape I also use the um, one a uh, half inch uh, but mainly it's just the quarter inch so for that, uh, this one, you just need to put a line of double sided tape down two sides of your structure strip. So you've got the valley in the middle, like so, bring that up. And then, so we've put then our double sided tape along there. Oh, my TV's gonna close, turn off. So you're going to do exactly the same as you did for that on two of the smaller pieces. So these go on the valley side as well, okay? I hope I've explained that uh, well enough and you were able to see what I was doing there. Sometimes I, I, I don't know if I just come out and it just sounds, to me it sounds perfectly okay and I can, um, I understand what I mean but uh, it's very hard to get other people to understand that as well. Right, 
so we've done those these three um, five pieces here we're going to put our double-sided tape on the mountain fold on the mountain side okay so again you'll need two um, pieces of double-sided along each side so then if you just put them to the side again keep your cardstock that you've uh, that is uh, surplus to the side because as i say we will use that to fill in different things as we go bring in your gray board pieces so the seven and one inch go are going to go on opposite sides okay of your um, big square bit in the middle okay and the seven and one eighth that's going to go along the top like so okay now we're going to glue these together first of all and then we'll put it to side and then we'll carry we'll go and cut the next great board part of the project okay so then while um we're cutting out the next piece this one is drying okay because this is real time i'm doing this i've done nothing i've not prepped anything so i'm doing it as you're doing it when we come to glue gluing we're not actually going to glue these pieces directly on top of the gray board okay we're actually going to um, glue our pieces so that they glue onto the side like so okay they're going to glue on and onto the side so when we put our glue on the first piece I'm going to I'm going to put the two um, seven by one inches on first so get in your glue you just run a line along the bottom as near to the edge as you can get it and just smooth it out okay like so then we're just going to butt it up to the side of the grey board okay now your measurements they may be slightly out but don't worry that sometimes that does happen if they are just glue them into place but keeping one side um, level okay so when I say one side level I mean level with one edge so I'm going to bring that up and turn that over now this edge here is level with this edge here as you can see on this one I'm slightly out a little bit I've got too much there okay but that doesn't matter because what's going to happen is is I'm going to trim that off once I've got them stuck together okay so you can then come in and put your next piece so this piece is going to be your seven and one eighth by one okay you're going to come and put this in and that's going to butt up to that edge now as you can see once we butt that up this is going to be correct it's going to give us a really good finish so when we put then our glue onto this piece we need to put this on the edge here like so and then again along the bottom okay smooth it out okay and then butt up to that extra piece that's hanging over now if yours isn't hanging over don't worry because we've got that extra bit um, of leeway on this seven and one eighth it means that that corner is now going to be a perfect right angle okay I'm just like so can you see that's although it's it's just pushing out a little bit it just needs to be pushed in but we can do that with our tape in 
a little bit later. So let me just straighten that back up. Push that together. Okay. Now we go on to our next piece, which will be the seven by one. Now this is where you're going to get your bit that you'll need to cut off and it's only a little tiny bit. So again we're going to put the glue down the edge, down one edge and then again along the bottom. Okay, smooth it out and smooth it out and then we can butt this up and square it off. Okay. So just make sure that your pieces are really um, up straight and as you want them because we're going to put these pieces to the side and then once that's dry I've, I've got millimetres that's I've not even millimetres I've probably even not got an awful lot I don't even know if you can see that extra bit you can't even see it's so small the extra bit that I need to cut off you'll probably see it more if I go to cut it off can you see that bit there there it's <laughs> pinged off but can you see I've now got a nice straight finish so that just needs to push back against there because now you can put some tape around this to keep it um, so that it s sticks um, it you know keeps in in shape as you're working on other pieces but mine seem to be okay at the minute so I'm not going to bother and because this is such a small piece it's um, it will probably take us more time to tape it up uh, because it's it is such a small uh, it's got small walls but yeah I'm quite pleased with that that's come out really well so let's put that to the side and I have to find a side to put it on we'll put it there like so and the next part we're going to work on is the drawer housing so it's this part here so if I take the drawer out it's this part here we're going to work on Okay, it's the black hole of doom. Um, so <laughs> we're going to be working on that. Right, so the pieces for this are you'll need back your trimmer and your grey board and your pencil. Okay, so for the draw housing, grey board. Okay, I've got extra bit here from somewhere, so I'll use that bit first. So for your measurements for this, you'll need one seven by seven inch, one at seven and one eighth by three, two seven by three okay so that's the the measurements you need
So that then is all our pieces for our drawer housing. So while we've got our trimmer out, let's do our structure strips. I can't say that at all. Um, our structure strips and then we can put our double sided tape on and then we'll put them all together so we need a six and seven eighths so one at six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths okay that's then going to be our base cover okay and then the next measurements are seven inch by one inch we need three of those Okay, so that's all our trimming done. Okay, taking the pieces that need to be scored. So again, this is all at half an inch. Okay, remember not to score very hard or very vigorously because you will go through your cardstock and we don't want that to happen. So I've just folded them slightly on that crease. Let's, put, let's do my balance act again. Okay, taking my um, Teflon one, I'm just going to um, burnish those score lines again, just to get that more crisper score. Also flattens them out a bit more as well. One more. Like so. One more like so. So again we're going to do the same thing. So the one of the um, so make sure you've got your seven and one eighth on this side um, out the way then you'll need two more of the smaller ones with it and two of the shorter um, the three by one inch and then you've got you should have um, one big one and two small ones together so with these ones we're going to put our tape in the valley okay like so one, two, and then these ones again in the valley because these are going to go over the grey board and not on top of it. Yeah, take your time. I mean, I go really quick because I've been doing making books for years. So um, I've kind of got up that speed. But um, you work at your own pace. That's the beauty of having these tutorials on YouTube is you can just pause me and catch up. Um, you know, so yes, so don't, don't fret if... Uh, you or even if you make um, obviously you make a mistake don't fret um so these ones um that we are going to put on the mountain side of our um pieces of strip that we've cut out 
and then these are going to go on top of our grey board and the, the actual um, score that we made so that nice crisp score that's going to fit snugly into the the dip where the two grey board pieces that we're going to stick together they're going to fit into so it's like a, a hand and glove it's going to fit perfectly So I've got one more left to do and then these are done and then we can go ahead and start to assemble the drawer housing. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to stick them over there and bring in then our, our drawer housing. housing again set out your pieces so that you've got an idea of how they're going to go now as you can see I've cut these exactly the same now these have worked out that I've not got any they, these are absolutely perfect um, let me see if I can bring you down and then you can see that these are they fit perfectly so can you see there is that one and if I bring this one over as well, they, they, these are cut out. Um, get it in there. So they fit perfectly. So having this extra bit now on this bit is going to be um, ideal. So let's bring you, oh, bring you back out. I won't go really fast because I don't want to make anybody feel queasy she says and then does it quickly so let's start with let's start with these um, so with your side pieces again so just done so again your glue is going to go along the bottom and then just smooth it out and stick that in place now I'm always overzealous with my glue I should maybe try and restrain from using so much okay, okay let's make sure that our lines are equal they are level okay so we're going to put this one on now now this one we're going to need to put our glue along the bottom and then I'm also going to put glue along this edge here so this edge here is what's going to stick so let's just put that over and then again put your glue along the very bottom edge of that piece of grey board I'm going to just sit it down and butt it up so butt it up so that your corners are now touching and level okay I'm just pushing these together to help me get that perfect um, corner okay I'm just going to push that over just a tiny bit See that that cosmic shimmer glue is so good it's nearly it's stuck already. There we are. I'm just going to push that in. Push this bit in here. Keep pushing. Like so. Now we're going to put this next piece. Now this piece here we're going to put the glue on the edge again and then along the bottom. Well it's going to be well um, it looks like it's going to be the top but it's when I put it this way it'll be the bottom so along that small skinny edge and along the bottom like so again just smooth it out that way you don't get any um, bobbling of the glue 
so again just push that into place now you see this one has worked out perfectly I don't need to cut anything off this it's going to uh, maybe just uh, not even a whisker but I don't know if you can see that just it's not even a, a whisker but I'm going to cut that off anyway because I don't want to have bulky corners so you'll need a, a big pair of scissors to do this don't try and do them with your small little um, like decoupage type scissors because um, they probably won't work so just cut it off now once we've put our even if it's not a it's a bit of a jagged edge you can use your file just to smooth those edges off a bit okay. like so I think it was because I was holding it at a, a jaunty angle okay but as, as I say once we get our tape over that that should um, cover any imperfections now my grey board is coming apart the Let me just put a bit more down there because my glue's disappeared. There we go. So that's then our next piece done. So we're getting through this really quickly. So I'm going to put these in our now done pile, ready for later. Now we're going to work on our top of our project so we're going to work on this part here okay so there's that part there it looks really big in, I can't get it in there um, the shot it's that big but it's a substantial piece it's going to look absolutely amazing when we finished it, it really is so let's work on this now piece so again let's get our tools ready so you will need your trimmer again and your bone folders, your pencil, your scissors and of course the most important thing your grey board like so and the cuts for this are going to be we'll need two seven by three and a quarter one seven and one eighth by five and a quarter and one seven by seven okay so i'm going to do the seven by seven first So that then is our pieces for our grey board, uh, for our top of the box, the chest of drawers done. So I'm just going to put them up.
so bring in then your your double side not your double sided your cardstock and we need to then cut seven by one times three seven and one eighth by one inch and that's once and a three and three eighths by one and that's four times okay that's four okay so let's put our tools away because we don't need that one for the moment and bring back our scoreboard and our bone folder and let's line up these little ones here like so like so that wasn't my fit so let's do a little party trick again and score them all at one go. One, two, three, and because I didn't get that last one in, oh, move it over. Nearly scored that wrong. Then the long ones, remembering not to push too hard. Although I'm going over it a few times, I'm not pressing very hard at all. There we go. And then fold along those score lines to uh, create that nice crease. So. Three small ones. Okay, like so. Move them over. Move that out the way. And just bring back your bone folder and just re-go over those score lines. Now you need to just find the your biggest one between oh and it'll be the last one I pick up you watch. No, I think it's that one. Double check these ones. Yeah. So take your seven and one eighth and two of the smaller ones for the corners, and those are the ones that you're going to put the score tape in the valley. Whenever I say um, the valley uh, or mountain valley, it always reminds me of Wales. I don't know why. Um, probably because I, I did used to live in Wales um, a long time ago. Uh, it's one of my favourite places on earth. side and then one so I'm doing the short ones now and these are just again the valleys there. so put those ones aside and then all the rest they are the mountains so we need to put the double sided tape on the mountain side of your structure strips so that's one and oh, 
we get that there in the end. Like so. Getting there, getting there. But all of a sudden, the wind has died down outside. Um, I could hear it in sort of in uh, the background, uh, sort of winding, <laughs> blowing, and all of a sudden, uh, as I stopped talking, it kind of the wind stopped um, blowing, and um, it just went really silent. Okay, so that's then all our structure strips for this part done. So we now need to put then the top part together. So we'll just stick them over there and bring in our top part. Now I'm going to round my edges. Now when I say edges, I'm just going to round um, a few. So let's show you. So your one that says seven uh, and one eighth by five and a quarter, we're going to uh, we're going to um, round two of the corners. Okay. So only the two that is going to be your top. So. Um, you will need a, a cropper dial or something similar to round your edges because this is um, these obviously cut your they're, they're designed for heavy material like this so that they, they cut through quite easily. So that's going to be your top. So then your two sides here. Again, what we're only going to, um, but this time we're only going to crop off two, uh, so one corner on each of the sides. So I'm going to do this one first. So I'm going to round this corner here because when I stand that up, I want this rounded edge to be at the front. Now I'm using the half inch side of the punch to get that nice. Um, curved edge so I'm going to put the two sides on first so again we're just going to put our glue along the bottom edge like so rub it off and then stick it on remembering to make sure this um, this corner is level with the front because you, you want it to be kind of seamless. So I'm just pushing at the sides, making sure that it is on those that side perfectly. I'm going to do the same to this one. And just uh, run your finger across it. And again, just push that in, making sure that the two um, edges are level. Okay, and I'm a little bit out on this one, so I may have to do the right. So this side here is a, a, a tiny fraction out. I don't know if you can see that, if I come right up there, just a tiny bit. Now you can't really see it, it's a bit difficult. I'll tell you what, what it is that um, my dilemma is. If I cut this part, this bit off here, I'm not going to have a very nice straight edge. So I'm going to take this off and I'm going to, first of all, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on as though it, uh, it's stuck. Okay, so get it all nice and square. Then I'm going to take this side with the side that is too big. 
that I've got that excess off and I'm just going to run a line along that edge and then I'm going to take this off and then run it through the trimmer so like so so can you see I've just got a very I'm over here get in the middle right so I've just got a tiny fraction there can you see this this line here so I'm just going to get my trimmer out and I'm going to just trim that little bit off okay there are probably easier ways to do this but this is the way that I found works for me because we all have we all do things differently so and somebody will think of something else that I'll think oh, why didn't I think of that but uh, as my mum says we can't all be the same the world would be a boring place if it was if we were all the same so I'm just going to re-round that corner because obviously I've cut some off so re-round it and then cross your fingers and hope that we've now we've fixed that problem so I'm going to put the glue on the edges here and I'm going to run it across that edge and up there like so just wipe it down and then that's fingers crossed Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Yay, it worked. Okay. Actually, that worked better than what I expected. So, stay, I told you, no accident is a happy accident. No, I didn't say that right, did I? <laughs> Any accident is a happy accident in my world. So that's uh, the only thing when you you rub down the glue, you end up with it all over your hands, and then I spend half the night trying to pick it off. I do wash my hands, by the way. Um, it's just it's one of those things that when you went to you used to go uh, when you was at school and you had the PVA glue out and. Uh, did anybody used to rub it, put it all over their hands and then peel it all off and then look at all your um, your fingerprints and things. Fascinating. Okay, so that then is the top. So we've actually very nearly completed the um, chest of drawers. So again so you need your um, trimmer and again your grey board which I need to just go and get some more um, which is here one second so more grey board make sure it's the right yep so for the drawer your measurements are going to be six and three quarters by six and three quarters you need one of those six and three quarters by two and three quarters you'll need two of those and a six and seven eighth by two and three quarters okay so that is six and seven eighths by two and three quarters so we'll do that one first so the six and seven eighths okay. bend that over cut that off put that to the side and then this one is at two and three quarters and three quarters so 
so that is the next part so then I need to cut off Sorry about that, just taking that bit off. So I need to then cut off um, so that needs to be six and uh, I don't think I've got it's just my measurement on here is not the greatest just for that six and three quarter inches so I'm just going to bring in my other trimmer I know I said at the beginning to only use one trimmer but Okay, so let me move all these pieces out of the way. So the next thing we need now is to do our structure strips for this. Trimmer again, and some more of your card stock. For your structure strips for the drawer, you'll need these measurements. Six and three quarters by one inch times two, six and five eighths by one inch times two, and six, sorry, and two and three quarters by one inch times four. Bring in so our bring in your scoreboard board. and let's score our long structure strips and these need to be scored at half an inch and you score down the long side. Remember to be gentle and not too vigorous with your scoring as you could go through the paper and you'd have to redo the, the, the structure strips. So just a very light pressure as you're scoring down them. Cool. And then for the corners, and then just score these. That's one. Two. Three, four. So just quickly fold all them score lines. Okay. Like so. Move this out the way. Do my balancing act. Okay, let's just um Rescore them, look those score lines again, make them more crisper. Like so. Ooh. 
her alive. Okay, so that's all those done. Now, um, what I would um, suggest you now do um, is put your double sided tape and these go um, on the mountain fold all of these are mountain fold um, structure strips okay so they just go along there So move them out the way. Okay, so for our drawer, we're going to put this together differently than what we have done with the rest. We're actually going to go around um, our pieces instead of doing two, two. We're actually going to go around. So you can go it, whichever way. I'm going to go anti-clockwise, but you can go clockwise if you want. It's entirely up to you. It doesn't make any difference. Okay, so glue along the bottom again like we have always done. Well, that went really um, nice and smooth, didn't it? Straight. And I'm going to butt the corners up so that they are level. So although they'll be level on this side, they'll be out on this side. But don't worry, okay? We will sort that out. So turning this around... I'll flip it up and if I put it on a black piece of card you might be able to see there we go so can you see I've got a quite a bit of an overlap okay don't worry because that as we keep saying before it will be chopped off so this piece which is one of your six and three quarter pieces that's just going to butt up to that okay like so so we're going to put glue along here along the edge and along the bottom edge okay so again along that bottom the very bottom piece not the edge of the bottom but the on the actual panel and then this is going to go along the edge okay just smooth that off like so and then we can stick that on like that. Sorry, I don't know Ooh. that. Oh, I don't know why she decided that's uh, a bit strange. Okay, so I'm going to carry on, and then what we'll do is I will cut that edging bit off in a moment. Okay, or what we can do is like I did on the other, which you might find a bit easier, is if you just put them into place and then get your pencil and then draw your line up there you know that that's going to be um, correct okay so I'm going to just chop that bit off okay so just line up those lines and chop down And chop that little bit off and let's now see if we've got that right so that goes back up like so oh, I might need to just put a little bit more glue okay like that and put them in and then and it was this side wasn't it I ended up with it like so and then that should then it does so this then needs our glue on the edge uh, and then this side on the edge as well 
not on the edge edge but on the actual grey board panel and then we can just fit that up to there and push that over and then that should give us a really nice clean edge and it does push them in there we go I may need to just do a little bit of adjusting when it's dry I've got a tiny bit stuck out there but don't worry we can sort this out so I'm just actually going to bring that over a little bit more because I wasn't level on this corner here there we go no I'm okay now that's better a bit more adjusting and I've done it so then we need our next seven and um, six and seven eighths one and that's going to just we're going to put our glue down this side I've done it again I'm do big, I keep traveling over don't I let's put um, that back in there there so we're going to put our glue down this side and down here so down there and down there okay okay and then we can stick this into place like so let me just push that up so that's level and okay just a tiny bit off there but it's a smidgen it's probably not even worth taking off but I'm going to anyway so I'm just going to tidy that corner up now you might feel better doing yours when yours is dry um, but as this Cosmic Shimmer Glue dries very quickly, it uh, is okay. So I'm just making sure I'm getting these lines all nice and straight and even. You don't want to have gaps in your, in your base at all. So the last piece is just going to go onto our uh, board and then we can put then our... The, the glue goes on the outside edges here okay like so and like so and then along the bottom okay so move that over and then we can hopefully we will have it all sorted and it will be good okay you may need to just have a little bit of a squidge around and I've, what I've done is I've put the glue on the wrong place on that one corner, that one side of that corner. It's a good job we cover these up isn't it because I've got glue everywhere. So again just push them down, just wiggle them into place so that we can get a nice um, corner and it may as I say keeps I keep saying you might just have to have a little bit of a wiggle and but once you've wiggled it enough you will get them sort of in place like so that's lovely yeah a lot of that looks really nice and okay so yours might not mean you might not need too much off yours you might not need any of yours at all I think as I say it's just where I've glued uh, I've cut mine on different trimmers uh, as I say that's the, the best that um, the I didn't follow my own advice there did I, I didn't uh, just stick to one trimmer so I think that's possibly where I went a little bit wrong so that then is then our drawer which will fit into if I can um, get my drawer housing which is here so these are the parts that we've made so far so we've got the drawer housing here and then the drawer top is uh, going to go onto the top of our 
drawer housing like that. Let me turn it up and then you can see. Uh, like so. So it's going to fit like that. And then the drawer is going to fit da, 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 inside. And I was just about to go, ah, it doesn't fit, but there's something stopping it. And then that fits in like so. And we've got enough space in there to add um, bits and bobs so we, when we put our pattern paper on there like so. So that is part one finished. And it, I'm now on uh, an hour and a half. And we've still got to put... Um, so these bits together but I think we've uh, sat you've uh, worked really really hard so that is fantastic so I hope you've enjoyed this video please subscribe if you're not already thank you if you are um, please hit that notification button uh, when you subscribe because that then will send you an email straight into your inbox every time I upload a video. So if there's a particular series that you want to watch the next one of, then you will get that notification so you don't miss a thing. Come and find me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm on there very quite regularly. I'm also do I'm also on, on Pinterest and I will put all the links in the description down below. Uh, I also need to say, because I forgot to say earlier, um, I'm not being sponsored for this video at all. This video is all mine. If I mention brand names, it's because I personally have found them to be the best on the market for me. My own personal choice. Um, so, I will, um, I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee now and um, I'm going to then sit this afternoon and edit this video so that it hopefully will go out tomorrow so thanks again for watching look out for part two and i will see you in the next one